So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to add a coming soon page. And so we're just going to be talking about why would you ever want a coming soon page and then plugins or methods. So why exactly would you want to do this? And for most people, it's when you're just launching, right? When you're just launching um, or when you're adding some type of new feature, that's when you're going to be wanting to add a coming soon or we're under construction page, right? So, you know, when you have a product, you have an idea that you want to create. Uh, but you don't necessarily have finished the website yet that's kind of when you would have the just launching or if you're learning wordpress like if you're using this course right now you're going to want to add the coming soon page just so you can kind of work on the back end uh, while the front end people can subscribe to the email list or they you know they won't be confused by kind of a broken website they don't want to you don't want them to assume that your website is actually broken but in fact you're just building it and also changing your theme so there's many type of plugins that you can actually use. Uh, the one that we'll be using is the Ultimate Coming Soon page, but there's also uh, the Easy Coming Soon page, and there's many, many other ones, but these are just the two best that I was able to find. So what I want to show you right now is actually how to activate the plugin or how to set it up. And so there's not that many settings, so it'll be fairly quick. Um, but the first thing being enable, you know, obviously you want to enable it eventually, but for now, since we're just setting everything up, uh, just we'll, we'll enable it after we actually get a live preview of it. But eventually we'll click yes. Uh, the logo is going to be put up here, just like any other logo or any other image that you would add. You just put it into the media image library or if you have the actual URL to it. Uh, if you don't have a, uh, have a logo, that's perfectly fine as well. The next thing being a headline and description, um, these are just preset or uh, you know already default text that has already been in here. You can change it to whatever you want. We'll be back soon, or you know I, we're currently under the construction. It really doesn't matter, uh, but you can add your own little flair to it. The only thing that I really wanted to show you is this mailing list of the feed burner, and so the only option for the free version is to sign up through feed burner. Uh, with the pro version obviously they have more mailing list options but i think it's always good to have a email list serve even from the beginning or if you know you're currently updating your website or adding a new feature then obviously you're going to have traffic and you want them to just be updated on your progress whenever it's it's going to go live and so i'm just going to show you how exactly you're going to do that so what we're going to do is uh, just put in our url dot com slash feed because it's a wordpress uh, domain or because it's a wordpress it's using wordpress uh, that this is going to be our rss feed right just our domain dot com slash feed and so hopefully everything should work out fine we can just you know wp for all adventures we're going to copy this because this is what we'll need uh, later on and we're just going to click next and we're just going to skip over all these things for now. All we're going to do is in order for emails to actually be set up, we're just going to go publicize and email subscriptions. And so from here, all we're going to have to do is click activate. So it's fairly simple. Just click activate. And from there, it's going to have all these little HTML codes that you can add in. That's mainly for if you want to put your email uh, uh, email sign up box on your sidebar or on a page something like that but in our case we're going to be eventually using a different service for that all we want to know is that because it showed us this page we know that it is now activated right our feed burner account is now activated and specifically the email setup is activated so we're just going to copy our address remember i told you to copy that over um, and you're just going to copy it right there we don't need everything else because it says enter the part after the feeds to feedburner.com and so that's just for you to remember as well is if you want people to go to your rss feed using feedburner uh, that entire url feeds to feedburner.com slash wp for all adventures that's your feedburner uh, url right so people can sign up for the rss feed there background color you're just going to select a background color a background noise effect all these are just you know more for aesthetics so if you want to put if you want to change anything there it's perfectly fine if you don't that's fine as well and so now we're just going to save changes and so once it says uploaded we're just going to click on live preview and so we'll see what it looks like really quickly uh, just to make sure everything's working okay right so this is our normal uh, logo that we have on our members only area for our website so you know just anything really it doesn't really matter this is just a demo site uh, and then we have some basic text and then enter your email and then they would click notify me right so everything seems to be working well you can also test if your specific email uh, for feed burner is working right if you can just test any random email see if it 
gets to the right place. And so we're just going to go back to our dashboard. And the only thing that we need to do is ultimately clicking yes, right? So we check the yes, and then we click save changes. And what I want to note right now is this, is that you know, because you are activating this uh, coming soon page, we see that it is active right now. That doesn't mean that whatever you do is going to be necessarily effective, right? Everything you, you do, especially because you are the admin of your WordPress website, you can still make changes. So don't think that you know anything is going to really be affected in that sense. Uh, I guess what we can show you is what would our website look like right now as it is while we are currently logged in. And we'll see what happens. Right? So I just went to wpforalltv.com. And as you can see, and you guys are probably not here yet, but it's just our actual website, right? So the admin doesn't actually see the coming suit page. Only people who are non-admins or non-logged in can do that, right? And it's just going to be the exact same as you would log into WordPress normally at your domain.com slash WP dash admin, right? That's where you just log in. And so that's one thing good about this plugin is that nothing for you necessarily changes. It's more just for the users, so for the front end.